Hello, hello, and welcome to Rory's Brainworks, where we get creative and see if it works. Today is a day that I never really thought would actually happen. Many moons ago, I swore to myself on TikTok that I would never make a pentagram harness tutorial. But then I thought rather overdramatically. The people need me. I'll do it. But instead of doing a normal pentagram harness, I'm gonna Emerald Lagasse and BAM! Kick it up a notch. Some sweet late 90s, early 2000s references for you. Enjoy. That's the only thing going on up here. <laughs> this pentagram harness is slightly more advanced, or intermediate if you will. It has a little pizzazz that brings out the devil in everyone, and demons are a girl's best friend. But before we get into all that, we're going to talk about safe sane consensual safety. Be sure to have some safety shears with you at all times. You can always get new rope, but you can't get a new life. Even Marie agrees. And consensual. Marie and I are both consenting adults. Communication is key. Let us deep dive into this tutorial, but first we must thank my sponsor, Knothead Nylon. Knothead Nylon is the destination for all your premium nylon rope bondage needs. Easy to clean, water resistant, up to 1100 pounds of weight load, and in a wide array of beautiful, vibrant colors, Knothead Nylon will slake your rope desires. At checkout, put in discount code RORY10 for 10% off. So we have the hitch, the middle of our beautiful yellow rope here, and we're gonna go around just underneath the breasts once. We are going to do a girth hitch. Girth hitch is bread and butter for any rig, really. We use opposing forces to tighten, staying in constant communication with our model. Marie, how's that pressure? Fantastic. So we're gonna go once around, just underneath the one we had just made. Now what we're going to do is go over this and under this. Why? Well, look at how they're sitting. This one is so much more pronounced, so much higher, and this one is lower. So what we're gonna do is push this one down and add layer to that one. It evens them out and it adds the extra tension based off the opposing forces both of them initially had. Now we're gonna go up and down this way towards the chest. It will be a little bit off center in the back, but we will fix that. Now you will notice if you've done a pentagram harness before that we are doing roughly the same thing as you normally would, but it will change and soon, I assure you. We're gonna go over, around, and then cross over ourselves and we're gonna leave these actually rather loose. You will see you can be able to pull up a little bit onto them, maybe a half inch to an inch off the body. For good reason, you'll see in a minute. Once back around, we're gonna bring this back over, center it, we're gonna go underneath it, we're gonna go around and below ourselves. So we're gonna go underneath it, around it, and then underneath ourselves, causing this anchoring tension. It makes it so this direction, which is where I'm going to be going, very important. These type of twists that anchor and change the direction of your ropes are very important for creating designs. I want it to go this way. How was I supposed to do that? Create an anchor by causing tension upon itself. Sometimes you have protagonist ropes and antagonist ropes. Protagonist wants to go one way and the antagonist holds it down so it can go that way. We are being our own protagonist and antagonist in this one. Just like muscles in the body, the rhomboids are the protagonist and the pecs are the antagonist. Where the rhomboids want to pull the back this way, the antagonist muscles will pull them back forward. So once we've gone this way, we're gonna go back around just underneath the armpit. And we're gonna come around, we're gonna grab the rope here and go around it. And then we're gonna pull down this way, which is why we had a little bit of extra tension. And you make sure those are pretty nice and tight because one of the things we're going to do is we're going to pull this way to create a star. So we gotta make sure that we're pretty good and tight in this spot. And we're gonna pull it down very close to the armpit. Now once around, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna create just a small amount of tension. Since we went underneath, we're gonna go over it. What has once gone under must go over and then under again. So saith the Rory. No need to do any fancy tension this way. That'll be enough. This is just creating design. It doesn't need tension. So we're going to do the same thing that we did on this side to this side. 
but we will be doing it in opposite. This will be our top, and we'll be going towards our bottom. Seeing how we went from the bottom, underneath, around, and became the new top, we're doing the exact opposite on this side. So we are now the top rope, so we gotta go over, around, under. Over, crochet finger. Have that bad boy be a little symmetrical. Symmetry is important. Now these two are gonna cause some of the major tension as well as what we do immediately afterwards. Stay in constant communication with your partner. Murray, how are we holding up? Ba bang Awesome. We'll go back around and then we're gonna tie this rope off and use a second one. So we're gonna come back around. We're gonna go over this one and then kind of create a tension rose. Under, over, under. Make sure to tighten that up. Over, under, over. We're gonna leave that loose for right now. It has enough tension to hold in place for the time being. And then we're gonna add a second rope. This can be done with only one rope if you're tiny. I imagine most of you aren't tiny. Who is? I'm not. It is okay to be different shape. So we're gonna let that hang and we're gonna add the second rope. Got the hitch of my other rope. Going to feed it through there and do another girth hitch. Sweet, sweet girthy hitches. Tighten that up, and we're just gonna go directly underneath this entire structure. It really makes things just much more simple. Once underneath, we're gonna follow this strand towards the front. Now here is where the fun and some of the frustration starts. This is a difficult tie at times to figure out, and it will take you time to figure it out, but that's the fun. That's not the annoyance, that's the fun, figuring it out. You will fail, yes, you will overcome as well. And I got your back. I believe in you. You can do it. So we're going to cross over and we're going to come over here. We're going to go over this and around. Why? Because we're going to go down this way. Yet again, we're creating another one of these twists in the rope in order to choose which way I want to go. We're being our own protagonist and antagonist rope right here, shaping ourselves with these twists. And what we want to do is have this one be the bridge that connects these two twists together. So we gotta go backwards from what we did right here in order to stay aesthetically pleasing. Which means if we go backwards, we're gonna go under, around, and over ourselves. So we're gonna go under, around, and over ourselves. This bridge right here is gonna stay in the front. I will cross over and do the exact same thing on the other, other side in opposite. First, I'm gonna tighten this up. So we'll pull from the top and bring tension down this way. Pull from here. Stay in constant communication with your partner. Very important. Marie, how are we holding on? Doing good? Awesome. We're crossing over this side. Do the opposite. We went over, around, and over. So we'll go over, around, and over. This will be our bridge, same as this one, and do the exact same thing. Opposite of what's going on right here, over here, and basically mimicking on the same side, aesthetically, what we did here, which is under, around, under, undo around, under. Same thing, we're gonna tighten this area up here and this will go that way. And it is at this point in time you're gonna make a few small adjustments. Staying in constant communication with your partner. Marie, I do believe we've got this design. How you feeling? You doing okay, girl? Radical. And at that point in time you can see the goat-headed pentagram. I think some folk have called it the stardust pentagram harness before. I like the goat head pentagram harness. It's so much more metal, metal, metal. Now you can just let this cross over like that, or you can add a small little hitch that adds maybe a small amount of extra security, especially if you have a model that's fearful of having something too close to the neck like this without some added benefit or security. So I'll show you that little hitch. We're gonna stay going over it, gonna go over ourselves, and then underneath again. Fix that up so it looks pleasing. That is the Munter hitch. Munter hitch. Now that we've got this beautiful thing going on, we're gonna go to the back and tie it off. So coming over this way, we're gonna go underneath this again. Who would have guessed? And essentially, the ropes here are creating a small platform of rope so this doesn't dig in in a weird way. Now, we have this short amount of rope and this long amount of rope. So I'm gonna take the long rope, I'm gonna go underneath, and I'm going to do a half hitch. Half hitch, you're so cool. Why a half hitch? Because I want it to go down because I'm gonna spread out and start doing things with it. Now with the shorter rope, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go underneath and then I'm just gonna start wrapping around. Wrap, wrap, wrap. 
Wrap, 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 ba doo 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 Wrap that rope up, doo 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 Wrap that rope up. Pow, pow. Pull out a little bit, put ropes through self, bola bola, hitch it up. These ropes are essentially done, and it kind of gives us a handle to manhandle our partner, if need be. Tie it off with a square, or granny's knot, you know. Pretty sure that was a granny's knot. <laughs> I ain't no boy scout. I don't know nothing about knots. So now you got this really big rope. What do you do with it? Well, that's the fun. That's your homework. I've given you and gone with you through this main assignment. This rope, whatever's left that you have, is your homework. Over the course of the tutorials I've been showing you, I've given you tools to use to create your own. Like I said, I wanted you to be an independent rigger with these tutorials. And if you are new here and this is your first tutorial, Hi, welcome. You came at an interesting time, but all that does is spur you to look at the other tutorials, the other videos that give tools to become independent. You don't want to copy someone else the rest of your life with these rigs. You want to make your own. So I'm going to create something with this. We're going to fast forward in time. Something fun, something simple, something pleasing. Kaboom. Here's what I ended up doing. Reminiscent of the chest weave harness, no? When you have a bunch of tools and you improvise, you can create something awesome. Can't wait to see what you create. Don't get frustrated. You're not gonna get it your first time. I undid this once before. This is my second time doing it. I hit a snag. My original idea didn't go through. Then I had a different idea based off of that failure. That's how we grow. That's how we get better. I'll show you the back two. Once we separated, I just kind of continued going with it. Crisscrossing over ourselves when we got to the back. Finished off with a double coin knot. Easy, your turn. Wow, now wasn't that a wonderful tutorial? I hope you had as much fun learning as I did teaching you. And I seem to have lost Marie. Marie, what are you doing? That's a goat. What are you doing with that goat? I'm gonna have to stop her from doing something insidious. That pentagram harness is having an effect on her. Anywho, I would be remiss if I did not bring up our other sponsors for today. The wonderful people at Patreon. That's patreon.com backslash Rory's Brainworks, just like this channel. They are my rope vanguard, my colonizers of dreams, and without them these rope endeavors would be <laughs> much harder to do. Thank you for spending your time with me. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this madness, and comment down below what kind of shibari, kambaka things you would like me to teach you. As always, I'm Rory. This is my brain. I'm fairly certain it works. Be safe, and go create some art.